Good evening, Carolina. I'm Tyler Peroni, back from the dead after my death had been wrought by the delectable Double Down Sandwich, non-sponsored. Fortunately, I have recently been resurrected by my coworkers who forced a full eggplant down my throat. And I'm Sam Kander, former consumer of any food but the Double Down Sandwich. That's right, now that the sandwich is gone, I will simply wither away. But uh, hello and welcome to, uh, hopefully, maybe, the first live episode of the Carolina Late Show. And that means a night of hopefully live laughs and fun for our delightful audience. Get ready for the greatest show to ever, hopefully, go live, laugh, and love in this studio tonight. And the return of many special guests. Yay! Yay. Oh, army of three hundred Spartans. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, yeah. You do it. You. Uh, 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 uh. Can we retake this? Mike cuss. One, two, one, two. Atticus Finch. Good night, Carolina. Welcome to our first segment of the show where I, Caroline Smith, well-known loser of the History Cup, that's me. They call me out. They call me out. I will be joined by fellow dad experts Delaney Flanagan and Jacob Torino, where we will be asking the question, DILF or not? I'm so glad to be on the show finally talking about my favorite thing ever, lovable fathers. Lovable fathers. Fathers that we love. Fathers that we love to talk about, definitely. Mm -hmm. So, first in our let's see we can we can have some space here let's all see right. let's see your face jacob all right Ugh. i've got for i've got the first deal for you we got a lot of deals for you. The first right. one let's hear is uh liam neeson from taken mm -hmm. dilf i mean someone who loves their daughter that much yeah. to kill a man yeah. he uh he was he went on that mission he and, really did and he succeeded he i haven't seen taken does he succeed I don't know. I've never seen this movie. I don't know, either. but he has a special he does? set okay, of awesome. skills. <laughs> he succeeds. Yeah. He does succeed. Right. Dilf. Succeeds Dilf. on the Dilf list, that's for sure. Dilf. Yeah. All right. And Delaney, what do you up have? next for you, I have Jim Hopper from Stranger Things. It falls under the category of, you know, uh, gr disgruntled old man adopts random teenage girl. It's, you know, a Pedro Pascal type. A, mm, a Jim la, Hopper type. The Last of Us. The Last of Us. Yeah. Stranger Things. Hey, we should've, we should've got, we don't have that one. I say Dilf. Okay. Uh, on mustache points alone, Dilf. Okay. Absolutely. On face scars alone, Dilf. Dilf. We're gonna run out of space on the Dilf side. Okay, next. <laughs> I forgot oh, wow. about this one. We've got Stanley from The Office. I mean. Again, a dad. Mustache points. <laughs> and who also points. loves his daughter. He does. He, he, there's one episode where he talks about how every day he drives his daughter to a school that's too expensive. I wake up every morning in a bed that's too small, drive my daughter to a school that's too expensive, and then I go to work to a job for which I get paid too little. But on pretzel day, well, I like pretzel day. And you know what? So, Anybody who does that for his daughter, I think. Oh, I we've think. got a no coming from oh, the audience. No. Oh, and someone disagrees with the no. Um, oh, I think on we need a tiebreaker. Tyler, Tyler, is Stanley yeah. from the office? Is he a dilf He's or no? He's got the D. Does he have the L? Yeah. 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 He's yeah. a dilf. He okay. has. He is a dilf. All right. All right. Dilf. I believe that y'all are gonna put Pedro Pascal and Stanley from the office on the same side. I quit. Sam, there, you can't there, quit. There is a Sam. Attractive, Sam. I'm extremely biased towards mustaches. Clearly, Clearly, based on the DILF side right now. Yeah. That must be why you're growing one. Yeah. That must be, yeah, yeah. Where's, your, where's your stash? Right here. There you, it is. <laughs> it grows in white, it's so odd. Delaney, what's the next DILF? All right, I've got Bob from Bob's Burgers. Is that Bob? I've never seen this show. I have not either, but I always get clips on TikTok. And honestly, you know, Bro Flips Burgers. No, no. Someone from the tech I, room just screamed no DILF. You know, I, I honestly say no DILF. I don't. You know, he does get mustache points. So how do you feel about this? I mean, my vote goes towards mustache, Dilf. We've got a, just an We've array got a of, of no's from the audience. And also, great stepfather. He loves all of his children equally, even though I'm pretty sure one of them is not his biological child. But does he always smell like burgers? Yeah, that would be a no. They that's all a no smell like burgers. That's a knock. They all work in the burger place. 
Yikes. Then they all smell like burnt. No. They all smell like fast no. food. This out. Oh, oh gosh. gosh. Moving on. Moving on. Okay, let's. I need to hear some resounding cheers from the tech room again. Grace, I've got Stoic. From, <laughs> this is Grace's favorite movie. She watches it at least once a week. How to how to train your dragon? This is stoic, bro, stoic the vast. He's bro vast. protects his village. He protects his whole village. He does the whole village, like bro not can, just his. He does kind of hate his child, though. Okay, but the is song this, that he sings to his wife is, in the second movie episode and the you first know what? movie. Great beard, but no mustache points. It's a full beard. He's got a mustache. Gonna, yeah, I know he has a mustache, but he has a full beard. They oh, take away. I'm like gonna have to like say strong. no deal. But so okay. is Stanley. He's got the ilf, but the dad part, he doesn't do a good job in the first movie. Mm. Right, Grace? He's emotionally abusive. He is. He's emotionally abusive. Oh, yeah, no, we can't. We can't have him. Oh, man, there's conflict. Okay, the I'm, audience is all men, just to oh clarify. <laughs> I'm saying <laughs> um, no dilf. I'm Are also going no dilf. No dilf. No dilf. No dilf. No dilf. Wow. That's Dang. Who's the next dad? You know, you can't I dropped them all. all my dads. Excuse oh, me. no. <laughs> Excuse me, I dropped them all my dads. Disrespect. No. 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 Up next, we have <laughs> Mr. McGuff from Juno. Dilf. Supports, supports his daughter during her teen pregnancy. Dilf. Is funny. Is um, J.K. Simmons. He um, loves jazz. What a voice. He loves jazz. He does jazz. love jazz. But um, if I remember correctly, Mr. McGuff does not have a mustache. Does he? Jacob, that Not can't be your movie. only criteria. Exactly. It's my only criteria. <laughs> if, you, if you pulled up uh, uh, the dude from Spider-Man, who is also J.K. Simmons, or... Uh, not Mega Man, the uh, Invincible's dad. Very true. Mm -hmm. Invincible's dad. Yeah, also, yeah but Omni Man. Is, is Omni Man a dilf? He's not on the list. He's not my type, He's TBH, okay. so I mean... He's a bad dad. I'm not in the ilf category he for him. He was a good dad up until the show. That's true. But um, for He's specifically Mr. McGuff, I think that he is supportive and he is worthy. I've got one no and a lot of other confused. Two no's, three no. I don't know. They don't like him. All right. You can't win them all. They That's don't okay. like him. Sorry, Mr. McGuff. No deal. You're a great dad. All right. I think I've got one that no one can argue with here. Mm -hmm. I think I might have won the room. Atticus Finch. Yeah. How to, what is no. it? No mustache. How to no kill a mustache. <laughs> God. No mustache, no devil. Have you looked at this man? No mustache. I see nothing but His a bald face. Is. He's not racist. Put him on, put him on there. <laughs> We, I think we've been clear the, the bare minimum. minimum. We appreciate the, the bare minimum. The bare when minimum is, is a mustache, and he does not meet the bare minimum. This was set like when the '40s. They yeah, really did like, the bare minimum. Back when yeah, white they really people, did do the bare minimum. When white when people. White, God. Stop. <laughs> yeah. I think we just have to leave it at that. Let's move along. Atticus Finch, no mustache. All right. Next up, we have John Krasinski Ooh. from A Quiet Place. <laughs> Absolute dill. Mm -hmm. Absolute yes. dill. Not as Jim Helper. Oh, that's a hot take. Honestly, yeah, I agree with it though. Cause doesn't he like he like lies to his wife? He is like yeah. he takes that job and then he's like not supportive. I thought that was Jack Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> also John Krasinski. I'm putting him in the DILF category. Go ahead. You yeah, that's yeah. it. Oh. Wow. It what seems a, like what a losing man. the mustache yeah. fight. All right. He we got another one that mustache. might not pass the mustache fight, but who no one can argue is truly one of the best. TV dads we've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Ned Stark. Absolute dilf. No dilf! No what dilf? just happened out no there? Dilf. Hello? No dilf! Really? I think dilf. Grace has never seen Game of Thrones. Okay, so he, Game of Thrones, right? Yeah. Very like controversial show. The fact that this man treats his daughters and his sons equally. He to loves me, them both. He loves them and he nurtures all of them. And he's like mostly nice to his wife. That's a yeah. lot in Game of Thrones. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. And you know, he sacrificed his life for to to tell the truth about John Aaron. It's so. just Sean Bean. I, I love him. But I, I think Dilf. Is there a mustache? The there is a there kinda there's is. A, there's a scruff. He's got a five o'clock shadow that the women like. You know what? I'll take it. Yeah, okay. Dilf. Jacob says Dilf. I'll take it. Dilf. Yay. Yay. Look at that. Who else? All right. We've got um Aaron Hotchner from Criminal Minds. Again, single dad, 
He only lives he's for got his that son. Clean. He, and he has that like he's troubled. Yeah. He's he's got trauma. Mm. Like he's he knows he needs someone to he fix can, him. He can <laughs> take care of his son, and that's the only thing keeping him going. I hate the way you're and holding he, it. I'm so <laughs> he's sticking to my hand. <laughs> it's like you know that game with the ball that sticks to the ball pro <laughs> thing. That's but it's that, my with, hand. What's his name again? Aaron Hotchner. I'm yeah. gonna say no Dilf because he's a cop. He's got that clean-shaven oh. law enforcement kind of smokiness to him. But he does, he he only hunts bad guys because... That's what they all say. It's criminal <laughs> That is what they all say. Show some respect. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Dilf. Okay. I think Dilf. I'm not I'm putting gonna. my foot down, That's even a, if he had a mustache. He's that on one's got mixed Dilf. reactions from the crowd. All right. You can put him in the middle. This next one, oh, no. everyone who lives with me, including Grace in the tech room who's been screaming the whole time, is gonna like this one. Um, Ted Lasso. This Dilf. <laughs> you like this? He has the stash. Mustache. <laughs> it's this. Uh, Jacob it's, is so excited back here, guys. <laughs> it's, it's the stash. <laughs> it's, he's a great coach. He is. Uh, but he's a fan oh, of books, so I think. So he's got the D, but not the ILF. Books? Leadership? Okay. <laughs> wow, so sexy. Uh, used to be the coach for Tottenham on, was that CNBC? Should we believe in him, though, to be a Dilf? I think he has potential. I'm saying two votes for Dilf. Thanks. That was a good reference. He said, oh. Mostly, I just think they need to believe in themselves. You know? He's in FIFA. You know, if he believes he's a Dilf, he can be a Dilf. He believes he's a Dilf. If he believes he's a Dilf, then I'd say he's a Dilf. Okay. Love. All right. <laughs> Grace does not think that Ted is a Dilf. This next one, I think, is one of the best on the list. Okay. Oberyn Martell. Oh! Oberyn oh, on there! Oh, Come on, Stanley! on there! Oberyn. Just Pedro Pascal. We don't even need to talk about that one. I you love unanimous. him. Wait, unanimous. Is this unanimous. Unanimous. Like weird fringe bang? He's got, a listen, he's banger. got a mustache. No, he has a mustache. You but doesn't he have the weird though. fringe bangs in, Not really. in Game of Thrones? He's really? kind of curly, kind of short. He's bisexual and he gets points for that. He does. He's contemplating his face back here. He doesn't know. Uh, <laughs> there's a response All right, we're gonna, somewhere in my head. And we're going to stay in the Game of Thrones category for... I don't like this one. I've never seen the this show. This one is a hard no for There's me. There's like four Game of Thrones. The people. Mountain? <laughs> he's not a Dilf, he's not a Dilf. He's not, he's not anything. This is Tywin Lannister. And I would just like to point out, we've got the uh, the picture of him on the toilet after yeah. he gets right. spoilers. <laughs> yeah, killed. spoiler, spoiler. Killed. Right before his own son murders him. So enough. clearly he's a bad dad. Yeah, or he is. He's a good dad if you're going by the saying, you aren't a man until you fight your dad. This is about the dad. Crickets from the room. He's not a dilf. He's not a dilf. God, what a, what a sad, sad soul. Yeah, that's not great. We've got Phil Dunphy. Woo! Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. We've got some cheers. I, I say unanimous. I'd let him sell me a house. Unanimous yeah, that was pretty dilf. unanimous. Yeah, that was yeah. pretty good. All right. I'm too busy taping my people. I forgot who I... Oh, man. My parents love this show. We watch reruns relentlessly in my house of Howard Wolowitz from The Big Bang Theory. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but is the bolt cut doing it? It's not doing it for me. <laughs> He does love his mom. He does. He does love his mom. For that fact cut. alone, for that fact the alone. The color matching. It's not there. Yeah, I don't care. It's like the worst Jeez. one. This has yeah. been the most unanimous no we've heard I don't, all night. I'm, I'm not for it. I'm right. not for it. No, yeah, no Dilf. No Dilf. All right. This one takes me back to my, my, my childhood mm. when I used to sit on the couch on a Saturday I know morning. Who this is. Professor Utonium <laughs> from Powerpuff Girls. Oh, I you know, would let sugar, him give me. Spice, everything <laughs> nice. My line. No. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Anyways, uh, Chemical X. Yeah. We'll put him at the top. Yeah, Chemical put him up here. X. <laughs> Cover the word. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. I'm on my last one, guys. This one is near and dear to my heart. I watch reruns of this show at night all the time. There's actually a YouTube channel that plays live of just this show, like 24-7. Uh, Gomez Adams from The Adams Family. The original. Dilf. 
He original. loves his wife. Good mustache. He loves his yeah. wife. It's who is a good milk. mustache. Who is different? They're both. Yeah. They're just, they're, they're a couple. So, I just, I need it. I want that. They have such a healthy family. They're such a healthy family. He and has the and, pencil you know, mustache. I'm jealous. Yeah, he does. He's, it's nobody different. does it like it's him. He is. He is a smoker, which is a little bit of a doc. No, it's not. But if someone said I no, it's not. I think when he does it, okay. it's tasteful. Don't yeah, smoke. Yeah, he's tasteful about it. Don't smoke, kids. Everyone says he's a dill. I think he's a yeah. dill. All right. He set the standard for dill. He literally he did. did. He did. He said it. When was the show out? Like in the 60s? Is that what he was saying? Probably 60s. All right, well. Dill. And finally, one last one. We've got Willem Dafoe. Yeah. Yeah. Dill. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. We don't need to talk what about that. We'll we dill. They got better and better. OK. Yeah. Yeah, you approve? I think that this man only improves with age. Yeah. Fair I enough. think yeah. that yeah. This, Re recently he's, he's had a mustache. And I like that. Quite the quite the leaderboard here. Yeah. So <laughs> this is our final our final lineup. Final lineup. Recently he's had a mustache. He has. He has. And it's it's, and it's a good, good mustache. Right. It's good. Let's let's right. fold this away and leave it to the archives. Um, and that'll be all for Dilf or No Dilf. Up next, here Tyler, take it. Up next is a nostalgic look at our lengthy catalog of shows. I only thought there were like two episodes max. <laughs> Anyways, here's Jonathan E. to present a very special Late Show compilation. Thank you, Caroline. Hi, I'm Jonathan E. And about an hour ago, I was 100% ready to head out for my summer break. But the producer of this show asked me to come on and host the season one bloopers. At first, I told them to get bent. But after some convincing and a high-speed car chase, I am here before you tonight, so please enjoy these late show bloopers. JW, you're gonna have a busy job this week. You, dear, do you, can we retake this? All right. <laughs> no, it's live. It's Why not wouldn't live. it be live? It, what do you mean it's not? <laughs> it's not live? It's not live! <laughs> what? Everything's alive. Okay, let's, let's retake that, please. I'm so sorry. Are we ready to go? I guess, yeah. Well, if you think about it, being melted is a form of being nerfed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, good evening, Carolina. I am not Sam Candor, nor am I Tyler Peroni. I'm face IDing my phone so that Tyler can take some pictures. And now it's time for the weird history game. But I'm just going to keep reading from the script because I don't quite know what to say. You've got the note book side. Does the humor of the show have to be extra dry for you to live? Ah! <laughs> you know, I, you know I, I do have a tendency to ramble. I've been told this by many people, and it really makes me think of, uh, Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> have you ever seen the Star Wars, the Clone Wars animated movie? <laughs> this is gonna be like a horrible segment in all the right ways. Though. Oh God, yeah. I'm Pyler Roney. Hello. Welcome, show funny. Tyler, back to you. Oh, Welcome to our first segment of the show where we are welcoming this week's special guest. Well, I got friends. You know. I sure can't read what's on the teleprompter. <laughs> that does it for the draft. So, yeah. what's up next, Tyler? Oh, uh, we have a new segment, sort of a little trivia segment, and now we're going to... No, nope, that's not what's next. <laughs> <laughs> that's later, Tyler. That's not, what, that's not what's next. What am I doing tonight? I'm doing this. I'm gonna go to the CVS and get some Theraflu, and I'm gonna go home and eat some soup, Bye. and then do some homework. And then do like the last bit of homework I got left, and then probably run a D and D session. Keep it. I need. Hi. I did. It went very dull after um, I wrote it like before the meeting. It was very dull, and I was like, I'm gonna write this. Trying. So I'm gonna talk about. The best thing. Well, it's yeah, gonna be women's uh, appreciation month. I need the devil to replace the sheep. Oh, can we get it that you can just see my reflection in the glass? Can I? I've been on a haul in Oats Bender. 
travesty. I need the devil to replace the shoes, girl. Oh, you great? Yeah, yeah. Should we retake this whole segment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spoiler alert for Halo 3's final mission of the campaign. Sergeant Johnson dies. Uh, they blow up Halo, the Covenant loses, and Master Chief and the Arbiter kiss. I love how I said, you're not making me read a fan function. You were like, no, we never make you read a oh, fan Because I'm a liar. <laughs> I, will, I will lie to your face. <laughs> and then what we'll do in post is just hit like a funny cut, and then they won't be able to tell the difference. That's all I've got for you this time. Now, Tyler, I hear you have a special shout out for us from your home state. There's a report from CBS News Miami published on the teleprompter's not rolling. The best part about our bit is that not even we know what's going on. All right, all right, all right. 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 Just a city boy. Born and raised in South Detroit. He took the midnight train going anywhere. Can you do it to me? Well, before we get started, I just need to tell you, um, if I get things wrong, is our best friend status, like is this, is this like high stakes? How high stakes is this? <laughs> What's your favorite color? I considered that. <laughs> you your <laughs> mom. Perfect. We have a team in Spartanburg uh, that plays at the old Spartanburg Philly Stadium called uh, the Spartanburg Spartanburgers. <laughs> Their logo is a, is a burger with fries. When you came with a packet, I was like, oh. I was ready. Your stupid packet bag. We didn't even debate anything. You just gave us the rules yeah, for 10 minutes. Turn <laughs> that's what the great. The that's the greatest train wreck I've ever been a part How of. How long was that? Good evening, Lina. I'm Ryler Roney. What I, classic. I, I had to sneeze so bad. Shrimp can see significantly more colors are we, are than humans. Are we ready to roll? Good evening, Carolina. I'm a pillow princess. Welcome <laughs> back to the show. Time. Mic test. One, two. One, two. Uh, Jerry's in the well. Jerry's in the well. Can you see me in, on camera? Just like sort of in the back. Yep. <laughs> Weezer? Be geezer. Yes, that's what I said. I love Weezer. Can you imagine getting killed over like ESPN reporting? I'm three years of age. Yeah, that's, that is true. That can happen anytime. I'm um, baby. It doesn't matter. The order I, I'm the one who said that Donald Trump should be sponsored by Goya. <laughs> Quiet on set. Quiet on set. Right. Who's your I favorite? Who's your favorite LA Clipper? Ever? Yeah. I have oh, my stuff. Go ahead, go ahead. You, the you, chick you. from Seinfeld. I, I, I'm canonically serving in the Finnish military? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That would <laughs> die. So I'm not your dad. Hi, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a Muppet. God, that was awful. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst thing we've ever made. <laughs> I love it. You pronounce best really weird. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, well, wasn't that spectacular? Well, before the paddy wagon arrives, I'd like to welcome Spencer Ball and returning special guest J.P. Berry for Ball Does Lie. You know, Sam, we were supposed to have a Ball Don't Lie reunion on stage today, but it's really strange. I don't really know who... Oh, there he is, okay. J.P. Barry. <laughs> 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 hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you, look at this. Is this alive? Is this alive, Rick? If this thing was still alive... That's his heart! That's his lungs! Could it take that? And it's still... Why is this still coming, Rick? Why is this still coming? I'm gonna tell you something, man. Hey, you gotta take this, this piece of crap trying to kill you. You gotta take it back where Lauren sleeps, where, where Carl sleeps. Man, let me tell you. Good evening, Gamecock fans. I'm Spencer Ball. And I'm J.P. Barry. Welcome to Ball Doesn't Lie, a show where we break down. 
Spencer and I will be giving you our monthly insight every Tuesday. This week on the show, what, what's happening? Why am I here? I, who are you? Yeah, well, talking about snipers, I'm actually joining the Finnish military with Mr. Markkinen. That's why, you know, this thing. It's also a byproduct of me being resurrected. So, yeah, uh, the Jazz have been looking really good. Uh, like we said, J.K. Simmons was here earlier. He, he had nothing but good things to you say. You know, leader of the, the Utah Jazz, J.K. Simmons. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe not quite his tempo this season. No, probably not. No, no, but you know who has been looking good? The New York Knicks, baby. Jalen Brunson, Manuel Quigley, Julius Randle. R.J. Barrett didn't have a great game shooting, just two for 12, uh, but he was everywhere on defense. I mean, he was at the point of attack. He looked outstanding against the lesser uh, compatriots of Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell got his, but the Knicks let that happen. They weren't going to get beat by Seti Osman. I mean, good lord. You guys, you guys, I, I had like, a, yeah, bless his heart. He had to guard Jalen Brunson in the clutch. You couldn't pay me enough money to do that. No. And Karis Levert, good God, man. He stunk. What is that smell? That smell is the Cleveland Cavaliers defense in the fourth quarter. Barbecue chicken. Oh my, dude, what about Mitchell Robinson eating down low? I mean, every year, uh, you take your yearly heritage to the mecca of basketball, Madison Square Garden. It's true. Yeah. I, uh, I've actually been there several times. I've never told a lie in my life, by the way. That's yeah. a very important I know. part of all of this, I think. That yeah. we're, you are the sheriff of, Spa of Spartanburg County. Indeed. I'm Chuck Riot, uh, sheriff <laughs> of Spartanburg County. And, you know, what we're going to do out there, we're going to go, we're going to arrest every uh, attendee of Dorman High School uh, and every attendee of Burns. <laughs> They're never leaving. They're going to Alcatraz. <laughs> Arkham Asylum is going to be open right here in Spartanburg. Oh, and you know what? It's over. It's over for all of you. It's never been more over. We're so back, ain't we? <laughs> We're, We're so, so back. back. Unfortunately, I'm a Hornets fan, and life just... Uh, Never-ending misery might be the way to put it. Every waking um, moment is a nightmare. <laughs> hey, Jalen McDaniels. Yeah. He looks good in 76ers uniform. He looks good him. in Trust any me, uniform. He's a cute guy. You, you, <laughs> anything will look better than in the purple and teal. Okay, um, hey, whoa. Charlotte purple Hornets. and teal. That's the whole, like, that, that defined a decade. Not just in basketball, yeah. man. I mean, the Hornets, uh, name a franchise that's been first in attendance its entire first decade of inception as an expansion. Probably like the Yankees. Sure, they can, yeah, they no, can, they can bring in fans. The Yankees but... were an original team. Yeah, I mean, an unbiased take. Kakaki's probably, I don't so know, watch this drive. one of the best one of the best productions in yeah. the world. I mean, I from one kid who announces it, like the South kid from doesn't uh, matter Mighty time Ducks of too. night. True. Do doesn't matter time of day, time no. of night. Uh, and that camera operator's got the shakes. He, uh, yeah. occasion, allegedly, allegedly. He never I'm drops the ball down. No. That is for certain. I would never drop a camera down a full story of ceiling. We're, it, stu it we're didn't still flying happen. half a camera. It, it didn't happen. Yeah. I, I don't know what they're talking if about. If you look in the bleachers, you will not find parts of a camera <laughs> at, at JVC the, uh, shrapnel. <laughs> <laughs> this is hazard pay. Yeah. Every day I wake up, and I think, I, I think, I'm just like, wow. All the things that we've been through on the shores of Tripoli, e, all the way to the halls of Montezuma. Stop, no, we're not singing <laughs> army theme songs. <laughs> I want to play Call of Duty World at War. No. I haven't, I was too young for that. Oh man, no. uh, it has an awesome campaign. My mom wouldn't even let me watch Ben 10. Oh, no. I'm sorry you grew up in Utah. <laughs> uh, but dude, World at War, I played it with my oh, dad growing Simmons. up. Oh my god. I want pictures of Spider-Man. Yeah. Uh, I don't want you to stop watching Cartoon Network after 9 p.m. Yeah, don't, that scared me as a kid. Like, did y'all ever like experience that you're just watching Cartoon Network and it switches? It's so scary. The, my childhood was haunted by the King of the Hill theme song. <laughs> Dude, George, Nick at Night with the George Lopez show. Oh, wow. Wake up in a do. fever dream at wow. 3 a.m. And, like, and you just see George Lopez. It's like when, when you're playing Minecraft. Chihuahua. When you're playing Minecraft and it gets like a little bit darker and like stuff starts spawning in, you're like, I gotta get home, I'm scared. <laughs> that first night on Minecraft you ever played, it's an ethereal experience. It's just like deep, storming the beaches at Normandy. Uh, there is just Fallujah, and then there's your first night of Minecraft. Did you say Tabo Cephalosha? I did. Whoa. <laughs> Holy crap. Dude, Fallujah, the Star Wars planet, Yeah. so cool. The accolades are like, they're like little crab dinosaurs. In episode two of Attack of the Clones, when they're in like the Geonosian arena, and then you're playing Battlefront 2 for the original Xbox, you're on Fallujah, and you're like doing this campaign, you're like, oh, I'm a clone trooper, this is so awesome. You're walking around on an ATTE, one of the coolest vehicles in Star Wars history. Yeah, try a Toyota Tacoma, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> and then accolades just come out of nowhere. It's, it's like aliens. They're in the woods. They're everywhere. JP, what so, are you talking about? Star Wars. Oh, okay. What's your favorite incarnation of LeBron? 
Big three LeBron as a somebody from Florida. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I should have expected that. Yeah. Right. We recreated one shining moment. Shook like a tree, man. When we were working on Bowling Alive, one time it was like two in the morning, we recreate one shining moment. I think Tyler was one player and I was another. Yeah. And Spencer was just like the cameraman. Chills. The ground was shaking. Yeah. I mean, the it was, was quite like, electric, electric atmosphere in Russell House 344. Yeah. In, I mean, the, in, the, in the 10 by 10 foot office. Yeah. <laughs> we make it feel like 100 by 100. It makes it feel like it's the mecca. It, Expand it the truly is the mecca of student media, I think. True. There's nothing like it. Like, it's the brightest lights. You come on. The biggest city, Columbia. Oh, the best I, couch. Sunny Ooh. Columbia, South Carolina. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it the second ranking, but the jouch in my apartment is true. If y'all don't know, Unrivaled Spen leisure. Spencer does have a full denim couch in his apartment. It's true. I can't explain it's been its through origins. generations of balls. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a number one rated spot in Columbia for existential conversations at like two in the morning. It's it's happened. That's it. Right now, when does this segment end? We're like walking um, that tightrope, and I think we've got we the just signal. Heard, We're supposed to wrap it up. Uh, I think Ma I think Mao Shane? Zedong and Xi Jinping are coming to shut down the show. The J Twenty Mighty Dragons are they overhead? Bing oh. Chi Ling. We got it. I've just been called to serve in Finland. Lowry! They're putting napalm in the streets. Lowry! 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 They're, they're bombing the city. Lowry! Hello, and welcome to the Buzz. But this time, it's a little bit different. This is Adult Swim Edition, where Emma, Chloe, and I share our opinions that no one asked for. This week, we're giving our hottest entertainment takes to kick off the show. And you can catch it all right here on The Buzz. Adult Swim Edition. Let's get into it. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and get us started because this is something I've spoken about very passionately uh, on the Buzz regular edition. Uh, but my hottest entertainment take is going to have to be that I strongly believe that no musician should ever step foot uh, onto an acting stage ever again, and that's strictly directed at Shawn Mendes. <laughs> uh, starting with Lyle Lyle Crocodile. I, I personally enjoyed the Lyle Lyle Crocodile okay. movie, but only because I'm a Shawn Mendes fan, I 100% get what you're saying. I think most of the time they put a singer's voice behind an animated character and it doesn't work. Yeah, I completely just, agree. Because all I see is the singer, I never see the character. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, I never even watched it because I saw um, the preview for it and I was like, this is not gonna be good. Well, so it was actually so bad, it made me hate both Lyle and Crocodiles. Uh, there's nothing else I can say about that. Uh, Sean Menes actually ruined his songs for me because mm. now I could see as a dancing crocodile. That was a little bit too human-like. You see a crocodile with stitches. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not my vibe, certainly. Uh, Emma, would you like to go next? Yes. I firmly believe that Justin Bieber is not talented. Oh. And honestly, I wouldn't say that about most celebrities, but he just makes me mad because he's stuck by Scooter Braun, too. Like, really, man? You're a bad singer. Peaches did not deserve the Grammy, and you've stuck by Scooter Braun? Just can't get, can't get on board with that. In my opinion, that's not too hot of a take. I'm with you on that one. <laughs> um, let me defend Justin Bieber very quickly. Uh, I think he's a horrible husband, but perhaps a great singer, if you will. Uh, I think he's an okay singer. Okay. <laughs> like, I think that I think that everything that he has done outside of the studio has slightly overshadowed <laughs> his time in the studio. Uh, one of those things was marrying Haley Bieber. Uh, oh. Strongly disagree with that one. I'll be Team Selena for the rest of my life, okay. and maybe a, a, a second hottest take, if you will, which is probably very well known. I will always be Team Selena. <laughs> Uh, Aaron, would you like to continue? All right, so my, this goes back to what I talked about as my like tea and drama from last week, but I really just do not think that Taylor Swift and Joe Allen broke up. I don't think that's a hot take. I think that is. I really don't think they broke up. Like One of them would have said something yeah, if they had actually broken up. You're telling me she's doing her concert right now with a million people that support her, and she hasn't mentioned it once, been like, and this breakup song really hits home deep right tonight. Now. Yeah, like why you're has she not that said hasn't that? that hasn't happened. <laughs> yeah. No, wait, I think that they did break up. No, we don't think, no, they didn't. Yeah, we're saying like they didn't because like she would have said she something. She would have said something. Had there would have, have been a something. tweet or something. 
But Taylor's that kind of guy, though. <laughs> she's just, she's that private, humble, like, she totally wouldn't have, have done something as uh, uh, performative as, as breaking up, like, or you know what I, I don't do know. know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just think feel she like would have said something. She can't like, sing all too well at her she, concert she, and not yeah, bring it up. And not bring it up. <laughs> Like, yeah, the magazines got bored and wanted to spice I it up. Because okay. <laughs> nothing has been happening recently okay. in entertainment. They just were like, yeah. okay, yeah, let's just say this. Yeah. So even though that's probably the biggest reason why I want to be a journalist <laughs> is to stir the pot, yeah. uh, this <laughs> time I am going to have to side with, with Taylor Swift and Joe Alwyn in the sense of I think that they're just keeping it private, personally. Well, back to Shawn Mendes. Shawn Mendes okay. and Camila Cabello were seen at Coachella like, grinding on each other and making out and it is Do bad. Do we have to bleep that out? Beep. <laughs> Not back together, but they just like agreed to be cordial. So I don't know what's happening. I feel like that was a lot more than cordial. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like uh, them making out with their mouths about four inches wide and tongues completely out. I feel like that's a lot more than cordial. I agree. <laughs> Similarly to the Coachella comment, I think that Coachella is a major PR stunt. I don't think it's real. Who's been there other than celebrities? Actually, that's not true. My mom did rent a house to somebody who did DJ at Coachella. I oh. take it back. But they were a <laughs> DJ, though. Back. They weren't like Yeah, a, but they were, attendee. yeah. So I think that all the attendees are definitely celebrities. Celebrities, celebrities who Nepo like to make babies. out yeah, with mm -hmm. their mm -hmm. mouths like five years apart <laughs> and you know. don't know how to dance. And, and Have you, you know ever what? seen a person dancing well at Coachella? So that's actually, it's a hot take in itself. <laughs> is, is a snapping. That I am a dancer, but I am a snapper. Speaking of uh, majors, I definitely think that that could be something that we talk about uh, mm. next week or whenever we do this edition next, uh, the worst majors, because dance is definitely going to be top three. Oh, <laughs> I mean, that is so respectfully. But I'll say my reasoning uh, for whenever we have the next segment mm. of I The Buzz. Can you leave me on the edge like that? Uh, well, you'll just have to wait until the next segment of The Buzz, <laughs> Adult Swim Edition. <laughs> Should we high five at the end? Like, we all have it. Yeah! <laughs> Now that about wraps up this season of the Carolina Late Show. And for that reason, come on, come on everyone, come on, pile in. We have so many special guests here on this episode. So uh, for more SGTV content, please be sure to check out the other videos on our YouTube channel and subscribe for weekly uploads. From all of us here in the Kennedy Greenhouse Studio, thanks for a great season and have a late night, Carolina. Forever to the... Wait, wait, where's, where's Tyler? He's in Finland. Oh. 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 Huh? He's military service.